First John 2.14 stands as a powerful beacon of the strength, resilience, and purpose within those who walk with Christ. In this verse, John addresses believers with encouragement, recognizing the victories they have won over sin through their deep connection with God. It's an incredible call to reflect on our own spiritual journeys, grounding ourselves in the Word, and understanding the strength we have in our faith. Let's delve into this verse, unpacking its rich message and discovering how it empowers us to live as overcomers in our daily lives. In 1 John 2 verse 14, John writes, I write to you, dear children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him, who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. The Apostle John addresses different groups within the community of believers, from children, to fathers, to young men, recognizing their unique roles and victories. This layered approach acknowledges the diverse stages of spiritual maturity and strength present in the church. John's words aren't merely encouragement but rather a proclamation of the victory believers have through the word of God, which empowers them against the attacks of the evil one. Dear Children John's term, Dear Children, is a term of endearment and familiarity. This group symbolizes those newer in their faith, still growing in their understanding of God. Despite their newness, these believers already know the Father, meaning they have a personal, intimate relationship with God. This knowledge is foundational to all Christian strength. Fathers when John addresses the fathers, he speaks to the spiritually mature, those who have walked with Christ for many years and have a depth of experience with him, who is from the beginning. The repetition of this phrase underscores the centrality of God as eternal and unchanging, reinforcing how these seasoned believers draw strength from the enduring character of God. Their faith is not based on fleeting emotions but on deep-seated, unwavering knowledge of God's presence and truth. Young men. John's focus on young men speaks to those who have strength, both spiritually and physically, and who are in the prime of their faith journey. He states, you are strong, and the word of God lives in you. This phrase highlights that their power isn't from physical ability alone, it comes from the indwelling word of God. The word is not merely scripture memorized, but internalized, guiding their lives and granting them resilience. Because of this, they have overcome the evil one demonstrating victory over spiritual darkness. The Word of God lives in you. John affirms that the Word of God doesn't just visit or inspire momentarily, it lives in these believers. This phrase speaks of an enduring, active presence within each believer. Through the Word, they are empowered to resist the devil and stand firm in the face of temptation. Their strength and ability to overcome are tied directly to this divine indwelling word. When we let scripture not only be read, but allowed to take root within us, we become vessels of God's power and wisdom. You have overcome the evil one. Here, John reminds believers that they have already won battles against the evil one. This victory isn't just a future hope, it's a present reality for those walking with Christ. Because of the Word and the Spirit within, they possess a strength greater than any force of darkness. This victory is not simply over isolated sins but over the evil one himself, indicating a power and authority that flows from their union with God. 1 John 2 verse 14 is a call to realize the strength and victory we have in Christ. It teaches us to anchor ourselves in the Word, drawing from it as a source of wisdom, strength, and spiritual resilience. Here's how this verse can speak to us. Recognize your strength in Christ. The strength John talks about is not based on age, gender, or physical might, it's spiritual strength, directly tied to our relationship with God. In your struggles, remember that you are empowered, not by your own might but by the Spirit of God within you. 
Lean into this strength during trials and temptations, knowing that with Christ, you have victory over any scheme of the enemy. Let the word dwell deeply. John's emphasis on the word living within is crucial. When we immerse ourselves in scripture and meditate on it, God's truth begins to shape our thoughts, words, and actions. Make it a practice to engage with the word daily, allowing it to take root deeply so it guides and sustains you no matter the challenges. Live as an overcomer. The enemy's lies, doubts, and temptations are real, but they don't define us. We are overcomers, not because we are without flaws, but because of the completed work of Christ within us. John's reminder that we have overcome the evil one is a statement of spiritual authority. Take heart and stand firm, knowing that through Jesus, victory is yours. 1 John 2 verse 14 invites us to view ourselves as spiritually strong, empowered individuals who have overcome the evil one through the indwelling word of God. John's words remind us that our strength and victories flow from a deep abiding relationship with God. As you meditate on this verse, remember that you're not just a participant in the Christian journey, you're a warrior, equipped with the word, shielded by God's love, and called to live in strength and victory. Embrace this truth today, walking confidently in the power given to you as a child of God. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.